So a long time ago, I went through a phase of buying sealed vintage Pokemon booster boxes, opening them up just for fun. Uh, at the time, it wasn't very expensive to do this and I just had a good time doing it. Fast forward to early 2021, Pokemon cards hit like a huge boom in price and I decided to send a bunch of mine to PSA to get graded just to kind of see how it goes. Quick shout out to Gem Mint. They've got a bunch of really cool products for keeping your products safe, displaying them nicely. And if you use code Hayden on their website, you can get yourself a nice little 10% discount. Hit that link in the description and check out their site. So a quick breakdown for those of you who aren't familiar with Pokemon card grading. I have a couple here that I've graded in the past. Uh, they were opened at the same time all these other ones were sent in, but they come in a case. PSA is uh, professional sports authentication. They will authenticate and grade your cards. So this here is a first edition a Hollow Dark Charizard. This one is a mint nine, so it's not exactly perfect. Um, but I also, for an example, have a 10 here as well. Um, so these are two that I sent in at the exact same time. You can see the certification numbers right under the grades are the exact same, but this one's a 10, this one's a nine. Um, the only differences that you can really see is that this one might be a little more off center going off of the yellow border. And the only difference that I can really see is that this one on the right has a speck on its top left corner. That is literally what will knock it down from a nine to a 10. Um, this one on the left does have it as well, but it's a little bit smaller. It's not to say that a PSA 10 is exactly perfect, um, but you can kind of see the grading scales here a little bit. So I have 70 cards to open up that I sent in today. They were all opened up by myself and uh, I am excited to get into it. We're gonna bust into this first box of 20 cards. Like I said, we have three separate boxes. Each of them have uh, 20 cards. One of them will have 10 because I sent in 70 cards. All right, so here's our first card. Now I don't know what the order is gonna be on any of these. Um, but looking, looking on the back side, it looks pretty nice. It looks a little messed up on the corners. I guess maybe we could go like this. Okay, it's a first edition Dark Charmeleon. Let's go. And the grade is a nine. So not bad. A lot of these, so most of these will be hollows. Some of them I sent in as just non-hollow. Um, like if they were cool, like first edition ones like this. Card number two. You gotta be looking for centering, of course, and then mostly just like edge wear. Every one of these vintage cards, it's really hard to grade vintage Pokemon cards. There always is issues. This one is uh, another nine, okay. All right, next card. I don't know if this will be another Charmeleon or not. Ooh, it's the Charmander. So we got the Charmander and the Charmeleon. This one is another nine. So it looks like PSA is just dishing me out nines out here. But that's fine. Honestly, we take nines. Nine basically means that it's still essentially a perfect card. What do we got? You think Charmander? It is Charmander, and this one is another nine. <laughs> Dude. Anyway. Next card here. Is it going to be another Charmander? It is, and it's another nine. <laughs> so far, we've got all nines. First edition, Dark Dragonite, this is an eight. Man, I swear when I sent these in, I like inspected every corner and like made sure that there wasn't this edge wear. But like, cause I honestly would not have sent that in if I saw that. So I don't really know what the hell happened there. Uh, but that's an eight, put you over there. I think and I sent in a couple of these. This is fun because we'll, get, we'll be getting into the holographics here soon. Next card, this one has the same kind of thing going on. That's a nine though, okay. I also think I sent in uh, some non hollow Charizards as well, so maybe this will be one of them. Wow, this edge is fucked up. That's oh, another nine, all right. So another <laughs> another Dark Dragonite, this one does get the nine though. So we got one, one eight, two nines. Ooh, it's just a regular base set Pikachu. And it's just a nine, so. Uh, there's probably gonna be more Pikachus here. Ooh. Hollow Lapras, let's go, PSA 9. Not bad, actually. Lapras, is, this is one of those cards that's really hard to grade because a lot of the time you'll see print lines on the hollow. This one actually does not seem to have any. Um, and that's probably why I sent it. Centering looks good. Don't really know what stopped it from being a 10. But, you know, that's fine. We'll take it. Ooh. 
It is a non-hollow Dark Blastoise first edition. I got the nine. Okay. I kind of forgot that I sent that one in. There's gonna I honestly, like I said, I sent these in a year and a half ago. I'm gonna forget mostly what I sent in. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, this one. This one's got a chance at a good grade. Did they mess up the corners on packing it or something? Oh, it's another Dark Blastoise. This one's another nine. Another, wow. I really had three of these Blastoises. What the hell? Next card up. Ooh, Hollow Nine Tails from Legendary Collection. Let's go, got the Mint Nine. Respectable grade. Nice little Hollow boy. These, uh, these Legendary Collection cards are pretty tough. You can actually even see the silvering going on on this card. I guess that doesn't affect it too much. The grade, at least, because I got a clean 9 there, so... Will we get a 10? Alright, next card up. This thing has an absolute fucking bite taken out of it there. Literally, I did not send it in like that. <laughs> um, oh, it is the Evolutions Charizard. Rocking the mint nine. Um, I honestly only sent this one in to try to get the ten. Uh, it's a very low population ten. This one has perfect centering, so I thought maybe would have had a good chance at it. Um, but I definitely did not send it with that huge fucking bite taken out of it. Like all the other corners were pretty solid, but it is the Dark Charizard non hollow. I do have the hollow version of this in a nine and a ten, so that's fine. Honestly, kind of thought this was going to be an easy... Ah, the centering's a little messed up on it. Kind of thought it was going to be an easy 10 as a non-holo. <laughs> I guess I just did it as an 8 on that guy. If they get 8s, it's kind of a why bother in sending them in, honestly. Because that's the two of those Charizards I sent in, I believe. Um, now, what are we going to have here? Ooh, this is a hollow Dark Alakazam. Let's go. It is <laughs> a 7. <laughs> Literally what? What makes this a 7? I have no idea. I don't really understand. Like, unless there's like literally a fucking spaghetti stain on this thing somewhere. I mean, there's no dents. There's no creases. There's nothing wrong with the hollow. The centering is perfect. In what world is this a 7? You can't see what makes a difference between a 10 and a 7, so... Oh, okay, it is the... Yeah, okay, this one I understand, because literally... Look at that print line going through the middle of this guy. <laughs> I definitely expected this one to be an 8, because the print line is just ridiculous, which is unfortunate, because this, this is a 10, this is a huge money card. Um, but that's a, it's a cool card. This is one of my favorite ones that I sent in. Maybe this next box is what had the magic in it, boys. This one actually looks pretty crispy on this side. Let's, uh... Ooh, it's the Hitmonchan from base set. And it's an 8. <laughs> the ones that I think are better are actually just worse. Like, there's nothing on the back side in terms of whitening at all. Not a print line on this card. Centering looks fine. Ooh, Blastoise from Base Set 2 is a mint 9. Let's go. Base Set 2 has the littest hollow. Got a nice little swirl right there. Okay, we'll take a 9 on that one. Thing is fucked up. It's going to be like a 6 or a 7. It's an 8. So these two Hitmonchans both have the same grade, except this one has a huge chunk taken out of it. So how does that... Literally, how does that make sense? Next one, the bottom of this one doesn't look great. Let's see. Edges. <laughs> this one's a five. What makes this a five? This was kind of the card I was looking forward to sending in. Uh, it's a five. Like, it's pretty much, I guess, just this. I guess sometimes you don't notice things when sending stuff in at the time. You you see it when they're finally in the case, but I mean... Okay... Seven on the Gyarados? <laughs> Damn, bro, I really sent these in thinking, alright, all nines, and, if, and probably like a third of them be tens. Can, like, judging off of like how my other experience was sending in PSA cards, but the, to this for this to be a seven? Damn. Like, what is wrong with this card? PSA seven, huh? 
Next card. A six on the Hollow Flareon. Okay, this one's horribly off center. This, I mean, this is probably going to be a two. <laughs> it's a nine. Like, from the back, this one looks way worse than any of the other ones we've looked at. And this is a nine. Okay, I've confirmed the grades don't mean anything. We're just gonna look at them all now. This is a nine, okay. Hollow Moltres being a nine is pretty nice. Let's go. Give me a 10. Oh, Articuno's an eight. Right after the Moltres too. Okay, so this thing doesn't look to be like, I can't see print lines on any of these damn things. This back looks, you know, pretty much like that 10 Charizard. <laughs> it's a 7 Jolteon. <laughs> this is from Legendary Collection Jolteon. Maybe they docked this one as a 7 because you can see a little bit of the silvering on the edging. That's gotta be what it is. But there was other cards that had that same silvering issue that just didn't, uh... They didn't get 7s. Okay, this next one looks decent. Chansey's a five. I sent in this Chansey thinking this has got to be a 10. <laughs> Nothing wrong on the edges. A little bit on the edges. Man. This card, I looked at, the thing with Chansey's is that it always has print lines. But like there's not a print line on this whole card. And that's a five. Next one is a Gyarados, that's an 8. At this point I'm happy to see 8s. An 8. Okay, the base set Nido King. This boy do be lit. <laughs> There's the Clefairy I was talking about, came back an 8. Nice. It doesn't have any print lines. That's what like the main thing that holds most of these normal types from base set back is the print lines because you can see it so easily on the, the light colored background. But this doesn't have it. This is an eight, I guess. Okay, the back of this one looks great. Quality backside. I'm a big fan of the backsides. Oh, it's a nine on the right shoe. Okay. That means it's a perfect card, essentially. If you get a fucking PSA nine in 2022, you have a card that's perfect. Next card is Base set nine tails. It's an eight. I think there's a bunch of nine tails in here. We've opened one of them. I don't know if there's a legendary collection one yet or not. Uh, this centering is fucking horrendous. That makes sense. That this is an eight. Another nine tail. Okay, two base set nine tails. I sent in as an eight. Damn, bro. Hello, you Samantha. I do. Well. Okay, here is probably gonna be another nine tails. I assume. <gasps> oh, it's the Mewtwo. Whoa. I saw the ten and got really excited. <laughs> We'll not Sorry. be getting any tens. I think we're getting an eight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good call. It is the Hollow Dark Vaporeon. This card is lit. It's very washed out, like color wise. Yeah, it's like purple. Like purple. Uh... Hello. You can see us in your reflection. Ooh. The hand is a ten, though. Neat. Thank you. So, so far we have big, the largest stack is of the nines. The eights are catching up though, then there's fucking three sevens, two fives, and a six, I guess. I don't know, not in the right order, but fuck it. What do we got here? Another Flareon, this is Legendary Collection, has an eight. Yeah, this is the number one 10 in this, uh, it's a 10 in this set. I love this Flareon card. Hey, it's better than a five or whatever. Like I guarantee you we'll get a 10, but it'll be on one of the cards that's not worth shit. Ooh. Zapdos 8. All the, are all the birds 8s? Legendary Collection Zapdos. Yeah, one of them was a 9. Okay. LC Zapdos 8. Okay. <laughs> it's an 8. Now it's probably because of the silvering. These uh, Legendary Collection cards do have the fucked up silvering on the edges. But you hate to see it. This one looks pretty good. Doesn't matter though. It's an eight. Here we go. Ooh, got a nine. First edition Dark Gyarados. Thought maybe one of these hollows would get a ten, man. Thought just maybe, considering they look exactly like the fucking ten that I already have. 
Nine on the Machamp. Let's go. Okay. I think I sent in two of these. The next one will probably be the same. But like, it's remarkable to just even have a hollow that doesn't have print lines. And that's why I sent this in. Because I was like, look at this shit. It's a perfect mirror. Not a print line on it. That's generally what holds it back from being a 10. But... Okay. Another 9 on the Machamp. Okay. This one's fucked, so it's going to be like a 6. 7. Agent! Thank you for the 36 months, my guy. This is another one where this this actually definitely does have print lines. I think I sent this in just on like the weird off chance that they like accidentally gave me a 10. <laughs> because as a 10, this thing's worth like 5 grand. Because it's like impossible to get as a 10. Uh, but it's a 7, so it's worth maybe like $7. Next card. I think I sent in two Dark Magnetons. This will be one as well. I think this one's an eight. Okay. Look at that. Okay, I did. I definitely expected both of these Magnetons to be eights. Uh. <laughs> okay, Alakazam. base set Alakazam is an eight. Nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> okay. Um, looks pretty good. And another Magneton is an eight. Don't know what makes you an eight, my friend, but you are a base set Magneton. Oh, damn it, the jungle Snorlax is an eight. Fuck my life. This is probably one of the second best cards I think I sent in. Okay, the centering on the back is horrendous. Look at how much bigger the top is from the bottom. Oh my god. And it's a nine. Base set two Ninetales. This is like the fourth Ninetales card. I have one from base set, one from legendary collection, one from base set two, and then. I have even two regular base set ones, but hey, we'll take another nine. Nope, an eight. Looked way better than the last one, and it's a grade lower. Kabutops from Fossil. I don't think we've seen any Fossil cards, to be honest. Okay, running low on cards here. We probably have like 15 left. Oh, I just pulled it out. Excellent five. There's nothing wrong with... Oh, oh, Focus is tripping out. It sees the blinds. It sees us. It's too, it's too shiny. There's literally nothing wrong with this card. Even Zuki's pissed. Zuki says it's a fuck. Yeah, pretty much nothing going on noticeably wrong with this card. And it's a 5. A PSA 5. This, like, literally, if you showed this to me, I'd be like, oh, that's gotta be, like, at least a 9. <clears throat> An 8 on the Fossil Raichu. What do you do? Just my chest. How do you have that on? It's so hot. Ooh, eight on the Aerodactyl, another fossil card. I guess that's okay. This one looks good. Oh, I forgot I sent this one in. And it's a nine, that's okay, that's fine. The Legendary Collection Snorlax, though? God damn it, if that was a 10, that would be huge. Very last card out of the last full box that we have. Go up above. Yay, it's a 9, it's the Polyrath, of course. Small box, do a solid. There it is. The Eevee's a 7. Like, for, I, for it was my understanding that for a card to be a 7, it had to have, like, a noticeable dent in it. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing going on in the back. Really no spec, not even any specs on the back. Just, that's just a, a standard 7. Next. Hey, there's a 9-1. Okay. I think there's going to be a first edition jungle one or two in here as well. I don't think there's going to be any holographics left. Yeah, there's a first edition Eevee as a 9. Okay. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Like, I definitely didn't send in a card that had a bite taken out of it, bro. I truly don't understand. <laughs> makes it an 8. This one looks way worse than any of the 5s, but this is an 8 for whatever reason. Two first edition Eevees. First edition Pikachu, 9. Okay. Chalkachu! Okay. Hey! This literally might be one of the worst cards I sent in. <laughs> they gave it a 10. Endless. Really? The fucking bee drill, bro? They watch your fork? The video. fucking bee drill they're gonna give the 10 to? I got a 10. And check this shit out, boys. The 10 pile. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. 
8 on the Vaporeon? This doesn't even look like a Vaporeon face. I know, this Vaporeon looks weird. Lux, what are you doing? She's, Zuki's taunting her. Okay, got an 8 Vaporeon. At least the 9 pile is still strong. Something messed up on the back of this guy. Dark Dug Trio, Hollow, 8, first edition. Running you about 995. Another one. Oh, got a 9 on that one. This Dark Trio just straight up busting through someone's house. He says, fuck your house. That's you busting into PSA. <laughs> straight it, up. My tens? I'm that guy right there. Where's me tens? Other than this stupid Pedro. Like, I literally expected to get, like, at least 10 tens. Mid nine on the Squirtle. Okay, I think the rest of these might just be Squirtles. I sent in a bunch of these. First edition Squirtly Boys. Yep, another nine. Squirtly Boy. No, ooh, another nine. Okay, three nines on the Squirtle. Is that three? Yep. Nice. Just couldn't give me a ten, huh? There's more PSA ten reverse speed drills than eight. <laughs> All right, and the very last card of the vid is an eight on the Dark Charmeleon. <laughs> nice. So to finish things off, the nine pile was the largest. Ten pile's looking pretty strong there, though. And that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching.